we will consider this problem and on the diagram itself we'll write down the slopes or we can write it as a b c d e f g and h let us find out the slopes m of a b is equal to 0 m of b c is a 10 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 m of c d we are not required to find out because it's infinity we don't have to this is sudden change in magnitude m of d e is equal to 0 m of e f again we need not write this is the first question so i am writing it m of f g this line the value here is 0 for time t is equal to 6 and the value here is 10 for time t is equal to 4 so y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 gives you 0 minus 10 divided by 6 minus 4 that is equal to minus 5 and the last portion g h is equal to 0 so we have m is equal to 0 at three places here here and here m is equal to 5 here and m is equal to minus 5 here how many slope changes are there in this question first from 0 to minus 5 second 0 to 5 second from 5 to 0 third from 0 to minus 5 and the fourth from minus 5 to 0. Let us write down what are the changes. At time t is equal to 0, the change is off. The change in slope is 5. At time t is equal to 2, the change in slope is minus 5. Then the slope changes at t is equal to 4 from 0 to minus 5. So again delta m is minus 5. And from minus 5 to 0, delta m is equal to plus of 5. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 ramp signals present which will be used to describe this waveform. And how many step signals are there? First, sudden change in magnitude is happening at t is equal to 2. And second, sudden change in magnitude is happening at t is equal to 4. Because of these two, we have two step signals. So as per our rule number 3, we have 4 ramps. So the 4 ramps are first 5RT, second at t is equal to 2 minus of 5R t minus 2, at t is equal to 4 minus of 5R t minus 4 and at t is equal to 6 plus of 5 r t minus 6. What are the two step signals? Change in magnitude from 10 to 5. So how much change is there of minus 5? So what will be the unit step signal which will be present at t is equal to 2? It will have a magnitude of minus 5. So the first step signal is minus 
5u and where is it existing at t is equal to 2. So, in the bracket we will write t minus 2. The next change is at t is equal to 4 and how much change? It is rising from 5 to 10. So, there is a net change of 5 units. So, we will be having 5u t minus 4. When we add these four ramps and two step signals, we obtain the answer Ft for this waveform as being equal to 5RT So, the value of Ft is a 5RT minus 5RT minus 2. Then, we initiate a change of magnitude at t is equal to 2 minus 5UT minus 2. After which, we again do a magnitude change of plus 2 unit of uh, plus 5 units so plus 5u t minus 4 this has also been covered this is covered this is covered and these two signals are covered the next term is minus 5 r t minus 4 and 5 r t minus 6 this gives you the answer so we find here that the number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 these six terms correspond to four changes in slope 1, 2, 3 and 4 and two change in magnitude. These are some questions on waveform synthesis for practice. Synthesize the given waveforms using step and ramp signals only. The first question, there is change of magnitude at t is equal to 0, t is equal to 5, t is equal to 10. So, there will be two terms. In question number 2, change of magnitude at t is equal to 0, t is equal to 2 and t is equal to 4. Again, three terms. Here, change of magnitude at t is equal to 0, t is equal to 1, t is equal to 2, t is equal to 3 and t is equal to 4. So, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 terms. In this question, for question number 1, 2 and 3, only step signals. Question 4, 5 and 6, only ramp signals. Let's see how. One ramp signal starting at t is equal to 0. Find out the slope and then find out which ramp signal is existing. At t is equal to 1, another ramp signal which is decreasing its slope from 2 to 1. Again, at t is equal to 2, there is a change of slope from 1 to minus 1. At t is equal to 3, again there is a change of slope. Find, find out the change of slope. And at t is equal to 4, it is becoming flat. So, there is a positive change of slope from this minus 1 to 0. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 ramp signals present in this. Coming to question number 5, how many changes in slope? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, there are 7 ramp signals in the answer of question number 5. Question number 6, 1 change at t is equal to 0, next at 1, next at 2. At 3, there is no change. At 3, you don't have a change. The same slope is going down. At t is equal to 4, there is a change. At 5, and then again at 6. So, how many terms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Six terms in question number six. Now we come on to seven, eight, and nine, where there is a combination of step signals and ramp signals. The first one, a ramp signal at t is equal to one. At t is equal to two, another ramp signal, which is making this uh, signal get flatter. And then you have a sudden change in magnitude. So there is a step signal. So one step signal and two ramp signals. In question number eight, the slope of this line, 
slope of this line and slope of this line. Let's check it out. It's same. So after one ramp signal at t is equal to zero, there are only terms of step signal. So this is a typical question. This has appeared in IP University many times. Question number nine. Here there is a ramp signal at t is equal to minus one. Again a ramp signal at t is equal to one. Here there is a sudden change in magnitude at t is equal to one. So there is a step signal. Then there is a ramp signal which makes the slope from zero to whatever to plus one. And then the slope is also changing and the magnitude is also changing. So at t is equal to three, rule number three will be applied where change of magnitude and change of slope, both of them are happening at the same time. Similar questions are then in question number 10 and 11, where there is a simultaneous change in magnitude and simultaneous change in slope. Here the slope was zero, here the slope is one. So there is a change of slope, here the magnitude is zero and after t is equal to minus one, the magnitude has suddenly become minus one. So there is a step signal. What is the magnitude of the step signal? How this question is to be done? You attempt it. In question number 11, there is a ramp signal. Here there, there is step signal and ramp signal both at t is equal to 1 there is a step there is a ramp signal and at t is equal to 3 there are step signal and ramp signal both because the slope and the magnitude both of them are varying. So attempt these uh, 11 questions and the answers to these 11 questions will be in my next video. So keep on watching videos and get to know more about circuits and systems. I will be doing a more difficult question. Such question does not appear in examination. But still, if you are in a position to understand this question, you can do any question on earth.